Guys, we just left Walmart. We got Ruben's mom these pretty flowers because today is her anniversary mm -hmm. of the day she passed. Yeah. And then we finally got a new computer because <laughs> I dropped the other one. And we got cheese. Mm -hmm. We're going to Midtown Taqueria to get some Mexican food on Friday. Got me a tripas burrito and they got a salad fries. Pollo asado. That's your go-to burrito, huh? Yeah. All right, guys. Ruben and I are on our way to um, Wingstop. We're going to have a babe date tonight. Mm -hmm. It's so dark out here. Look at it. Yeah, I know. Can't even see me. Uh huh. We need that light to be wired. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that one. And it looks like it's gonna rain, huh? Uh, it's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow. We went in and they only had bone out. Out? Yeah, bone out. Basically, the nuggets. So if you want chicken nuggets, why would you go to Wingstop? So we're gonna <laughs> go to Roseville instead, cause there's a Wingstop right here, right by our house, but. I'm not gonna eat chicken nuggets there. So we're gonna drive all the way out to Roseville. It's not that far from where we live, but no, it, it feels a little far. We're like on the cusp of it. Uh-huh, and that's what we're gonna do. And Ruben made the girls chicken fideo because we're going on a babe date. And they were like, chicken fideo, but they were glad that Ruben made them dinner anyhow. That was nice of him. It smells like in and out It's right there. Where? There, that's that slow one, remember? Oh, yeah. I don't know. In and out smells good, Ruben. Uh -huh. I don't know if I want In and Out. I want In and Out. And if I had a little cheeseburger next to my wings, a slider. <laughs> <laughs> In and Out slider. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm excited for it. A sushi wings. place. It looked empty, though. Yeah. Got our food uh, barbecue, parmesan, buffalo, the carrot. Guys, we just got home from the restaurant and listen, this is coming from my house. Mm -hmm. Joanna and Sophie are home. And I bet you they don't have the door locked. Oh. Let's see what these fools are doing. <laughs> wasn't open so we're not going there but um, I was telling Joanna that we're gonna go get a Starbucks but the Starbucks that um, we're going to used to be in a restaurant called A Chop Chop and it was the most delicious freaking Chinese restaurant ever but I'll tell you guys a story when we get to Starbucks because I'm gonna drive right now so this is where the A Chop Chop was right on this corner right here it says do not enter what what the fuck I am entering. Fuck what? you. <laughs> what? <laughs> now what? Oh shit. <sighs> All done. <sighs> Alright guys, we're alive. <laughs> I said not to enter because the drive through is like crooked in this place. But you see the freestyle concerts coming? You told me I can't go. Oh, I asked because no, they're old. No, I went last year and it was hella week. They didn't play any of their songs. Like, they played all their new CDs. But nobody knows their new music. One of the fetas? Of course. And, and then, what do you want, Joe? Do you want anything to um, eat? <laughs> Why are you sitting like that? Because I'm sad because I don't want to eat What do you want? Here. Do you want anything or not? No. And that's it. All right, 14 to 5. Thank you. That was my sad body. Well, I don't eat. I'm eating. I got me a feta wrap. Because I'm starving. I'm starving too. Alright, well, Joanna's gonna start, but I got me a feta wrap. No, I'm not gonna start. You're gonna start. Feed me. So, anyways, uh, so this odd chop, I mean, this Starbucks right here used to be an odd chop chop, and they had like a drive through, and I swear to you, like, their, um, their egg rolls were the size of burritos. They were huge egg rolls, like, I mean, huge and fat. And um, I was 15 and I was pregnant and my brother, well, no one knew. So my brother 
um, I would ask him every day when he'd pick me up after school if he could bring me to Ah Chop Chop to buy Chinese food. And he was like, I'm not gonna buy you anymore. You eat this shit every day. Like, he was like, you're gonna get hecka fat because I was only 85 pounds. And I was like, I couldn't tell him that I was pregnant. And he was like, do you have money? Um, he would have paid for it anyways, but I did have money because I worked at Party City full time. And so um, he was like, he goes, do you have freaking money? And I would say, yeah, I do. So we'd come and I'd get so much food, like a whole thing of chow mein, like four egg rolls and they were huge. I'd get like teriyaki chicken, orange chicken, enough food for like six people. And my brother was like, why are you eating so fucking much? And I couldn't tell him, but then like maybe a couple months later when I told everyone I was pregnant, um, he felt so bad because every day he gave me shit about bringing me to get Chinese food. <laughs> about me being pregnant in 15? No, about my food. Take a sad. It's that chicken nugget worm. I, tell me why I was just about to say that. I want some chicken nuggets so <laughs> bad. Right, and then after this, we're going to go to Tuxedo Den and pick out a tuxedo for all the guys in Joanna's Sweet 16 to wear. Um, but I need to eat because I feel like I'm crabby. <laughs> I will probably stop and get Joanna some chicken nuggets because she's a pain in my ball sack. Ball sack. This seatbelt is so high on me. Every time I come to this Starbucks, it pisses me off. You know that? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> because I really want it to be all chop chop. Mm. This McDonald's tries to tell you what to do, I swear. I was just chilling in the car, listening to my song, and the thing's like, move forward, <laughs> Joe. Yeah. <laughs> so, we've been having bad luck today because we went to the Tuxedo Den, and they're closed, like, forever. And then we went to the store to get these candles, and I only need one more, and they didn't have any. And so, then we went to, where else did we go? Oh, Wishing Well, and it's closed on Sundays. So at least McDonald's wasn't going to let us down with the nuggets. Hang on real quick. Here you go. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know why boys have to have such pretty lashes and I get stuck with these bald ass eyes. Thank you. Is it open as eyelashes here? Okay, so anyways. And so then, okay, so we got this decorator for Joanna's Quince and she's charging me 800 bucks for all the flowers for the party and for um, the golden tablecloths and the gold bows around the chairs, which is a lot, but I mean, we're getting fresh roses, so it's not that bad. But I wanted a mirror on the bottom of the uh, flower vase with candles around it and to get that she was gonna charge like way more so I was like mm, I could get the candles and the mirrors myself so that's what I wanted to knock out today but turns out we're not and now we're gonna go to the quinceanera shop and see if they rent tuxedos that's what we're up to today I keep getting too far from the window oh. hi large oh <laughs> the way I'm paying you again. <laughs> you want to pay again? Yeah, right? Here you go. And the quinceanera shop is closed. Are you serious? I've never met Mexicans that closed their shop. What the fuck? Okay, we're just gonna enjoy our food. And then... I don't even know what the... Alright guys, so my allergies are killing me right now. I have blown my nose like so many times. But, yeah. And I finally got candles on this thing up here. But I wanted to show you guys um, the candles that we bought for the Sweet 16. They're just little mm -hmm. LED votives. Um, they're gold and then they have the candle and you light them up. And it comes with the battery, so those are super cute. We got 30 of those. And then I got these because these are just birthday gold candles. Because the whole party is white and gold. So yeah. What the heck? 
We're taking Jojo to the mall to meet her friends. job I'm like almost to my work I can't believe I drove all the way over here when Walmart was literally like the next stoplight to the mall my gosh now I'm just gonna drive all the way home and go to Walmart by my house I swear it's crazy at the Walmart today I don't know if everybody got their stamps or what but they wilding out here What else? I need noodles. Soy sauce. Ruben has the weirdest list he asked me to get. Soy sauce, spam, and seaweed. Let me see. swimsuit that's kind of cute and the color it just shows weird on my phone but it's a really pretty color and that one's cute but I gotta lose some weight because we have a big surprise for Joanna for after her sweet 16 and your girl does not want to look like a whale but I'm gonna look for I got a fizzy machine Ruben got me a fizzy machine to make like sparkling my own sparkling soda and waters at home. So I gotta find the cartridge that makes the fizz. So I gotta look for it here. I'm thinking it's gonna be in small appliances somewhere. Okay. These are all coffee pots. And I need to get a, a cleaner for my Keurig thing too. Let's see. They usually have it right here. Oh, here it is. The Keurig cleaner. Yeah, this is the one. They have a whole kit, though. I think we just need this one. This stuff. Oh, here it is. Here's my fizzer. That's the one he got me. This one. Yeah, that's it. Oh, here they are. This is it. Yeah, 60 liter is the one. And then you just buy these like flavors if you want, or you could put fresh fruit in it or whatever. Like, look at this one's uh, Bahama Pina Colada. Ooh, that sounds good. Pink. Mojito, mmm. I never used these. Fountain mist. Joe would love me if I got this one, but she'll be using my little machine forever. He got me that one right there, but I like this one. How much is that one? Oh, that's why. The the white one's only forty nine eighty eight, and the one he got me is eighty six. That's why he got me the more expensive one. He knows I'm bougie. See, or you could just put these drops in it. This this looks good, but I think I'm gonna get some of the drops. I don't know if this has sugar. I don't want anything with sugar, but yeah. 
All right, guys, I'm done at Walmart, and I only had like five measly little bags, and it was over a hundred dollars. Like, this is getting ridiculous. But anyways, I realized that I'm probably the most annoying Walmart shopper because they're all my friends in there. Like, everybody that works there is my friend. Well, I don't really know them for real, but like they're my friends. And so the girl at the register, she's transgender, and she watches my channel. But um, shout out to her, to Mercedes. But um. She like tells me a bunch of stories and so the people behind me in line are looking at me like Bitch hurry up and get the fuck out of the way But like I know her whole story like her family and like her stuff So I'm like oh my god so your sister took that guy back? No way and the guy behind me is like Turning red and blue and like just looks so pissed off But she's totally cool and then the guy at the door um, He recognized me because my hand tattoo so like last time I came in I looked so scrubby like I had sweats my hair was like in a side chongo that was all frizzed out. And so he was like, oh, red rose on your hand. I didn't recognize you and I was like, ugh. He sees me like at my worst sometimes. Like when I try to run in there at midnight when they're closing, he'll let me in. So now I'm like, fuck, I gotta start looking good when I go to Walmart because people will like talk to me. And they're recognizing me and that's so embarrassing that like he recognized me, he saw me like, looking super scrubby or in my work clothes or like just looking like fucking busted as shit like <laughs> that's embarrassing but yeah um I'm gonna go home wait for Joanna to uh call me to go pick her up and then um make some dinner I'm gonna make chile verde so it's like pork meat uh pork ribs I keep looking at the wrong side of the phone I think but I'm gonna make pork like riblets and green salsa and rice for dinner. I don't even know what time it is. Let me see. Oh, I can't check right now, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And so I'll make another little uh, recipe vlog, and that's pretty much it.